My name is Adelaide Njeri Ngaruya. I'm the founder and the creative director of Ajani House. Ajani Cake House was formed in the year 2016 as a home baker. I started in the house in my kitchen and I grew it as a passion. I love cooking, I love baking, and that's how I decided to change it into a profitable business. What inspired me was that um, I had an ill mother-in-law. She was terminally ill. She used to love cakes and baked goods. And so every time I bought something, maybe in a shop, it will not go well with her. Because I used to bake at home, so I decided to bake her very nice things that met her dietary uh, requirements. And she really loved them. When her friends used to come, when my neighbors used to come, they used to love the cakes, they used to love all the baked goods that I baked. So that really inspired me and it pushed me because I, I loved doing it. And so that's how I grew the business. Before I joined Growth Africa, I really had challenges getting my product out there. The people who knew about it was my family and friends. So one day I just decided that I need to go a notch higher. I need to put more money on marketing. So that's when I decided to change my marketing strategy to influencer, to go online. And now when I went that way, it now, it now became I think, oh, I think I'm among the pioneer businesses that started using influencers back in the day and getting so much into online. Our followers are organic. We engage our followers so that they can convert. So you find like we, we go with the waves, we change our trends. We are always online looking for the new trends, what is going on, what is happening, so that we change the strategy on our marketing. So I can tell other entrepreneurs that don't look at the numbers of the followers so much. The little ones that you've got, be able to uh, to meet their needs, to meet what they have told you they want, and also try and make it as seamless as possible. For your information, I've delivered a cake to the US. Someone wanted a, wanted to taste the, our cakes because they saw that we are trending. They said that they should have an Ajani cake. So that cake got to the US safely. I was really happy. And also we deliver now countrywide. We've delivered to Lodwa using flights. We deliver to Mombasa, Kisumu, Kakamega, Busia. We deliver countrywide. So our cakes get there intact. I used to just employ people, just to employ them. You go to your pocket and say, ah, no, I can't afford this person, they are too expensive. But when I went to Growth Africa, I realized that skills, skilled people and people who have knowledge, like let's say a decorator, a baker, I get people who know their skills and are knowledgeable about it. So when I went to Growth Africa, I, I changed how I employ people because you realize that it's not bad to employ people who don't know anything, maybe to train them, but it depends with your vision. You need people who are skilled so that they can make a good product so that you cannot have losses. That's what I did. I invested in skills and that has really increased the business because we, it minimized the losses. And also when the customer gave us feedback, they were satisfied with their products. Growth Africa has really helped me to uh, sustain my employees and to also have more more employees because when our products get to a customer, they are satisfied ab about it. And also I make sure that I get people who know much more than I know. I really came to realize that so many things, even my time is money. Yeah, even me as an entrepreneur, I need to pay myself. That's one thing I learned from Growth Africa because sometimes you tell yourself, I ah, know, let me just reinvest, reinvest. But you end up eating too much into the business because you have needs. One thing I love about a journey, we do our cakes with a lot of passion and a lot of love and everybody loves the business. And also we follow up, we appreciate our customers and we hold them in high regards.